So another dish that's uh, quite popular here at the Cafe Britannia in McLaren Vale, South Australia, is our classic chicken mushroom and smoked bacon pie. It's a simple dish, as most English cooking is. And what we've got here is that uh, I start off with um, thyme and onions, which I've chopped up into quite chunky, and they'll be sauteed off. Then I'll add my mushrooms. And the other thing that we have in there is uh, lovely streaky smoked bacon. I should give it a lovely little bit of salty flavour and a lot and a bit of depth as well. Just cut that into small cubes. I'm gonna sweat these mushrooms off in butter. And when they're nice and soft and translucent, we'll add the mushrooms and the bacon. And what I've got here is what I call a rough potato puff pastry. So the pastry is made up of self-raising flour, mashed potato and butter and a little bit of ice water which are all combined together to make the dough. That's rolled out into a square and then little knobs of butter are placed on top and then it's folded into three and then rolled out and then folded again, rolled out and folded again and that's done two or three times and this is what gives the pastry its layers so that when the pastry is in the oven and cooking the little knobs of butter heat up, turn the steam and therefore are producing the layers that are associated with a puff pastry. So then it comes over and then over, I'll go that, a little bit of flour, just dusted on there and then rolled out once more, fold it again and then that'll be ready the next time when we roll it out to make the pie. And there we are, that's wrapped up. and kept in the fridge. Meanwhile, our onions are nice and soft, so we can add our streaky bacon and our mushrooms. Now we just coat them in the butter and cook them until they're broken down. All right, so, the onion mix now, the onion and mushroom mix is soft. So to make the pie consistency, flour in there. As there's some butter in there before, it makes like a roux. Here I've got some chicken stock, which will go into the pie. Add our stock, stir it, bring it to the boil as it comes to the boil. We will take in the flour of the roux and thicken up. As you can see there, that's the sauce as it's coming together. We'll stop. What I have here is some pre ch chicken, which has been thigh, which has been seasoned and cut up into small dice and then quickly sauteed off in a pan. And that will be added to this when the sauce is cooked out a bit more. A touch of cream. Helps the richness, gives it a bit of sweetness. So add the chicken in there. And again, just coating the chicken in the sauce and then probably cooking it for about 15 to 20 minutes. To be, one thing you've got to be aware of with this pastry is that as it's got butter in it, if the temperature in the kitchen is too warm, the butter will just melt and you'll lose 
that layered effect so one has to move quickly and it helps also to have a nice cold bench top fold it and just rest it in the fridge for a little bit there is a sort of mix not too saucy because otherwise the pie will get too wet but just enough there to hold it together off with a little bit of chopped parsley so what we'll do is we'll cut some rounds into the shape of the pie and that'll just sit in there just press it into the pie dish and then press the pastry so it's nice and even around there and then a smaller one for the lid and then we make a bit of egg wash a little bit of egg and there we are cheers and we just paint the insides with little We're going to have our cool pie mix that goes in there. A little bit more sauce. Just to cover it. That goes on top. Press it in. That's nice and crimped. And this is going to go straight in the oven because it's a little bit warm. A couple of pricks of the fork to let the steam out. Some more egg wash on top. And then into the oven. On about 180 about 20 minutes. Yeah, bon appetit. <laughs>